Hi guys, um, so I had this idea about um, giving you more information about the pieces that I currently have, but I don't know about you, I rarely watch a wig review or a topper review all the way through. Um, if there's a piece that I'm thinking about buying, I will look for reviews that other people have done, but I find them long and I just want to know the basic information and I want to see what it looks like on someone's head. So what I'm going to do or start doing is as well as longer wig reviews I'm going to do something called my quick five and I'm going to go through the pieces that I own um, and I'm going to give you all the information but quickly show you the cap, show you the colour um, in less than five minutes. That's my plan anyway. So um, I'm working my way back, so I'm starting with my newest pieces. So this is my, from Highline Wigs. I'll put all the information in the captions, but it's human hair. It's from originally from Highline Wigs. I bought this second hand from a wig sister in Australia. So length, this is dun, 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 14 inches. Um, it was bought, the lady who I got it from, she bought it direct from Highline Wigs and she paid in US dollars 675. Um, just to confuse things further, then she quoted me a price for it in Australian dollars, but essentially by the time I'd paid the cost of the topper, the postage, and then I had to pay customs on it, it cost me about 400 English pounds. I can't be doing with all this trans like working out the exchange rate, so that's just what I'm going to say. So I got a significant discount um, by buying it second hand, and she'd hardly worn it. I think she'd only worn it a couple of times. So for me, that was worth the faffing to buy it second hand from her. Okay, um, this colour, which is a kind of mid brown with blonde bits through the front and blonde, very subtle blonde through the ends. It's called Lexi um, and the root is root number four. I'm going to take it off, show you the cap. So this is a topper, not a wig. So you will see my bio hair underneath. My bio hair is quite a lot darker than this piece, but um, I think it blends really well. Okay, this is the cap. So this cap is six by seven inches. Now, originally it came with a comb, which I took off and I've replaced the comb with a small pressure clip. And then it came with these pressure clips here. I find these clips very comfortable. Um, so th this is not a lace front. This is a silk top, which means it has a really realistic looking parting. And then the way that it's made, you don't need a lace front because the hair sort of overlaps itself. Now, I quite often cut fringes into my pieces, but with this, because of the way it's been highlighted and because it's got these lovely blonde bits at the front, I'm not going to cut a fringe into it. You can change the parting. Um, I'd say my only negative about this piece particularly is I struggled to change the parting because of the way that the hair is dyed and the way that it's constructed at the front. I I changed the parting a little bit, but you, you can't suddenly give it a really deep part, I would say. So I tend to, this is parted slightly to the side and then I wear it slightly skew with on my head um, so that it looks like a side parting. Um, I'll just show you the back. This hair, I, I love this piece. Highline wigs are amazing. Um, the hair is really soft, it washes really well. The cap, this is a good size cap for me and um, she also does bigger caps. Um, and yeah, I don't have really a bad word to say about this. I would like to buy another piece from her um, in the future but you can if you go onto sites like trading tresses on instagram so many people are selling highline pieces second hand and you can get really good deals um so it's worth checking that out before 
you necessarily buy direct. Um, is that everything I need to tell you? I've got over my five minutes, but I was talking a bit at the beginning, so I hope you enjoyed this quick five. All the information that I've said will be down below. Um, and yeah, this is my, my lovely, lovely Lexi Highline. Bye.